Dame Lillard. And and really, we'll just talk about the NBA as a whole. But Damian Lillard came out today and told reporters, told everybody that if the NBA doesn't give them a real chance to get into the playoffs, he'll show up, but he's going to be sitting on the bench because he ain't playing in games that don't mean anything. Chris, I want to get your uh, your reaction to this before they're they're only a few games out of eight. That's they're three and a half games out of eight. I think they had like eighteen games left in the season. That's right. And, you know, like what what would be considered a realistic chance at the playoffs? I, like I, I don't know. That, that's the question. The, the reason here is the thing: we've basically had an entire off season right now. Okay. Yeah. While all the teams are the exact same. I don't know that everybody's coming back and going to play the exact same way, pick up exactly where they were left off. If you get in this thing and your team gets some chemistry quickly, gets things rolling, find a, finds a groove, figures some things out, and and gets going, I mean, you could jump several places and or just other teams have not handled the layoff well, have not been in shape, whatever. They fall backwards. Dude, you could not only just jump to eight; you could get to you could get to to five, you know six, five, maybe not five or six, but I mean, I mean you would seven or eight. There. Yeah, uh, the the easiest spot would be to get into that eight slot, right? Yes. Um, and you have no yeah. idea how these other teams are going to react when they come back. Exactly. Who's uh, been working on their game? Who's sitting on their ass playing oh, I mean, videos is, and, like, and eating Cheetos? The Greek freak can't even practice basketball. He can't practice shooting right now. He doesn't have a basketball goal to his house. Yeah, I'm sure he's he's gone and gotten one, but as of like middle of April, he didn't have a basketball goal. Like, <laughs> I'm sure he had a place to work out. Well, no, at at the time he was he was pretty fired up because he couldn't go to the team facilities. There wasn't anywhere for him to go. Like he had he said in a report that he had not actually shot a bat. Like he's dribbled and all that, but he had not shot a basketball in over a month. Like that's insane for some of the best players in the world. Yeah. To not be able to shoot a basketball. Now, I'm sure that things have changed ever since then. I'm sure he's been back. But, I mean, you go that long, like, obviously, there's going to be a little rust. Like, you got to get everybody back up to game speed. All these whatnot. teams are going to – you just don't know if your team can get there and start off hot and you play well and you're ready. My thing is this. Is this a scenario where he's been sitting on his ass not doing anything and just thinking they're not going to come back, and now he doesn't want to get out here and embarrass himself? It's entirely possible. Now, he did injure himself right before the All-Star break, and, you know, he was having some problems anyway. So, it, if it's Everybody, that, look, all these injuries, these dudes have sat on their butt for two months. Nobody yeah. should be coming back hurt. Well, this is this is his response. He said uh, uh, he was hoping the league would opt for a play-in style tournament involving the number 7 through 12 seeds. Uh, center Jusuf Nurkic and... Uh, Let's see, power forward Zach Collins are returning from injuries. Lillard said he would like the Blazers' chances in that situation. He said, we had fought ourselves back into position to get a spot, Lillard said. We had our starting center and starting power forward coming back, so we had a lot to look forward to and for a great reason. Now they're healthy and have extra time to train and rehab while everybody's rusty. So now they won't be coming back as the only rusty players. And if everybody's rusty, we can come in here and beat everybody. Uh, He said, it's going to be hard to get going with no fans. You've been off all this time, and some people are just ready for the summer. Like, screw it, I haven't played in a long time, and the season's basically over to me. Do I really care like I cared before? It's going to be a lot of those factors going on, and that presents a lot of room for a team to sneak uh, some-ish, we'll say. (laughs) Like, really mess around and knock some teams off, and then, oh, they're in the Western Conference Finals. It's room for that in this situation. So the fact that it's possible and we wouldn't get an opportunity at that, that's weak to me. I'm not getting any younger. How are they not getting an opportunity? Well, we we don't know yet. The NBA has not announced. Uh, hey, McKinnon jumps in. He said, love the haircut, Chris. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, and I needed it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can understand. Jesus. You you were more upset about that Friday than anything I've seen you upset about in a long time. I was looking rough, and I felt like <laughs> shit. I just felt like death. Um, here, let me let me I've, jump in here because, the, like, the, the rest of these comments um, – kind of go into what, what you were just talking about. Michael said, is the NBA leaning towards what the NHL is wanting to do? Uh, ben said they should do the 2014 playoff thing that the NHL is doing. And then Michael said he has millions of dollars. He can't find a hoop. Give me a break. Yeah, that's talking about the Greek freak. I understand. Like, he just didn't have one at the house. Like, that. he's always been able to go. To, he, he lives like two miles from the facility. So, who would have envisioned that you wouldn't be able to go to your I'm facility? sure he was able to get in, by the way. I, eventually, yes. But, I mean, who knows? 
Who knows? Um, so, the 24 team thing, we're going to talk about the NHL here in just a little bit. They're not going to do that. I'm, I, I can assure you they're not doing that. What what they are discussing, Brian Windhorst talked about this over the weekend. A six, like They're talking about just going straight to the playoffs. So, in that point, like Dame Lillard wouldn't even have an opportunity to play anyway because the Grizzlies well, then, yeah, are the He's eight not seat. sitting out because he's not even going to be invited to go to play. The The setup would be, and, and they are doing this, the way that a lot of people have wanted it done for a long time because they thought that the East and the West were... Um, unbalanced. And they yeah, are unbalanced. unbalanced. And it listen, if you just watch the Jordan doc, it used to be the East was loaded and the West was mediocre. Right. The The matchups would be the Bucks uh, against the Magic. That's one versus 16. Eight versus nine would be the Heat against the Thunder. Yeah, it would just be one through 16 ranked yeah. all the yep. way through. Like, that's it. We would The conferences right. and divisions would be gone. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you... I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to finish the season. I think they're going to play it out. That means Dame's going to get on his ass and he's going to show up in Orlando. I really believe that. Uh, well, it's, it, I don't think they. I don't think they got time. I don't yeah, think they they've do. got time to do. Yeah, that. they do. What, but, what do you mean they got time? Uh, the they other time. season starts in the middle of October. The, the other season is projected to start in the middle of October. None, all of this stuff is fluid. So are they going to? They're cut? not going to have fans. Why would they start if we? So let's say the NBA says we're not going to do fans because they've already said that they think the first half of next year they won't have fans. Is there a reason they have to start in October? Um, I mean, yeah, to get your full TV contract. No, you don't. You just keep going longer. So what would? Uh... I mean, we've talked about this before. They could easily start at Christmas time and end in 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 in, in Labor Day and be fine and be just fine. Eh, okay. Ben said, uh, "Sounds like you guys just don't want Portland to take the eight from Memphis." Like, honestly, at this point, don't really care. I'm not worried about that. I could care less about that, dude. That is that has nothing to do with it. I don't. Hey, what I'm saying, go play and try to take the eight. I don't know. How does that mean I don't want him to do it? No, here's the thing is that we are tired of Dame Lillard bitching about everything under the sun. He complained about not Constantly. making the all-star team. He yeah. complains about everything. He feels like everything is a disadvantage for him, and it's not. It's not even close. And in this situation, if I'm his teammates, I'm pretty fired up about it. Like, I, you're going to go ahead and tell me before, like, it, what? what's the number? How many games do you have to play Here's the thing. For it to be Here's a realistic gonna shot. They're either going to finish this season, and he's going to have his chance to make up those three and a half games, all right? And if he chooses to not do that, he's a punk, okay? And he quit on his team. That that has to be figured in his story forever. Or they're going to find a way to make six, seven, or not six, seven, eight, nine, ten all in, and they're going to do some round robin play in game type of stuff to get the last two spots in. They're not going to just start 16 teams, okay? And the reason I don't think they're going to do anything too crazy for this playoffs, they might do that little bit to figure the last couple of teams in, but they're not going to they're not going to do what the NHL's doing and they're not going to completely revamp how they're doing their whole playoffs because they don't want this championship to have an asterisk next to it. They don't want a team to get high. They're still going to go seven-game series, all the series, once they get started. However they get to their 16 teams, they're going to go seven-game series. They're not changing that. They're not just, and the reason being is because they don't want anybody to say, this team got in, this team won some weird-ass format, and so that championship has an asterisk. They don't want that. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Matt said, cutting into other TV, uh, other sports TV times and programming, which is – why they wouldn't they wouldn't go further. Uh Terry Brewer jumped in. What's up, Terry? How you doing? He said, uh, who cares about basketball? We need some damn baseball. That's probably not gonna happen. Uh I haven't seen all the reports right now, but it ain't looking real good. Players um, union are fighting. They're yep. fighting like hell. You got that right. Uh Michael said, I've forgotten about the NBA to be honest. I wouldn't be upset if they don't return. I'll take some NHL playoffs, MLB starting and then NFL. They're gonna NCAA. return. Yeah, they're they're gonna be back. The NBA it, it, they're going to be back. They've come this far with too many plans. They're going to do it. Uh, Michael It'll said. Uh, Michael said that's even with my Nuggets having a decent chance to make a playoff run. Uh, Nuggets would be the sixth seed against the Pacers, and they'd play the winner of the Raptors and the Grizzlies under this format. So under uh, this format, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, ben said, you don't think it'll be a play-in through the 12? Uh, no. No, no worst not. case scenario, they go to 10. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. So, uh, I'm I'm curious. I'm interested to see how it's going to play out, but uh, I don't think this is a good look for Dame Lillard. I, I don't... What, he, just, the, he just cries about stuff all the time. He just He's just a baby. And he's a great player. That's the thing that's annoying. Yes. He's an unbelievable player. 100%. Just show up and play. And if your team doesn't win and you don't make the playoffs, okay. Like, but at least but, you, but you finish the season. Yeah. I mean, good gracious. It, it's just, You're three and a half games back. I can't help that. No. Like, y'all earn, did that to earn yourselves. Earn those three and a half games up. Y'all did that Take to yourself. Take it from the Grizzlies. They're a young team. They might come back out of shape and and not ready to play, not yep. focused. And you take it pretty easily. I don't know. Or maybe you get your ass whipped. Maybe they come in, they blow the doors off of you. It, yeah, exactly. Who I knows? think he's preparing himself to not play so that when he shows up and he's overweight and out of shape and hasn't worked out, he doesn't get embarrassed. Because he can hide all that sitting on a bench in a suit. Now you got that right. That's what I think. You got that right. You can always blame it on the injury if you want to. Now, that now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen is if they do do some weird play-in game thing to where they're in, all right, and and we see he comes back looking super rusty and really mm. bad, that was it. That was 100%. He was preemptively trying to mentally prepare everybody for him to not be here. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, McKinnon jumped in. He said, y'all see Chipper Jones' comments on MLB players fighting about their pay? Yeah, I, I didn't even see the comment. What did he say? No, nah, he he just said he just said they need to play. That we're going through too much in our country, and they need to figure it out. And they need to play. They make too much money as players as it is. They need to stop crying and they need to play. I I could maybe agree with that. I don't understand how half the revenue half. I, I know they don't want it to be a salary cap thing. I get that, but if you're playing half the games for half your money, I don't understand how that's a problem. I I just don't. That doesn't. I don't matter. understand I, it either. I can't figure that out. Uh, ben jumps in. He said, my Kings have the same record at 11 as New Orleans does at 10, but they have the game's advantage. If it's only through 10, we got screwed. Yeah, everybody's going to be screwed at some point, like with yeah. the way that this goes down. Well, that's just and, part of it. And that's the thing. Like, it, if you just roll with the teams that are already in it, like, then there's not a whole lot to complain about. Other You're than also going to be screwed if the league has any say in it at all because, you know, they'd much rather have Zion than the Kings in. Oh, they'd rather have Zion than than the Grizzlies and the Mavericks. Yep. Well, no, they want they want Luca. Like there's no, they gonna want Luca. They want players. That's the thing. They want stars. Yeah, I mean, but they want Zion more than anybody, basically. Yeah, they would they would bounce half of the East to get Zion in. <laughs> you got that right. You have got that right. All right, let's jump into the next topic. Uh, 